Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, December 16th, 2019. So it is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because it's dated for the 16th of December, that does not mean that it has to resonate. It has to resonate at that time. It does not mean that. Um, whenever you're guided to watch the reading, and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that time. Yeah. Okay. So, um, just a quick heads up. I'm looking to do happy hour this Thursday. Um, I'm not, the, the floor is not open yet. I just want to put that on your radar. Also, we're going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing before we start in happy hour because I have a bunch of packages that I need to pick up and I'm really excited to get into that with you guys. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's get into uh, the the messages for today. So uh, uh, pre-shuffle energy here, we're kicking you off with the six of wands. Um, and this, whatever, whatever this is for you here, this is a well-fought victory. I feel like some of you, um, some of you still might be struggling against some sort of opposition. Um, it's interesting because I this is like this this is like the third time now that, <laughs> that i'm trying to do this reading today and i got a little bit of a pre-shuffle energy before but it it and i started to to talk about it but it was starting to go in a direction that didn't feel right so i stopped um and what came out before was the five of swords uh with the page of swords and then and the queen of swords and there was some sort of um energy of laying down your swords um and not not fighting, walking away from some sort of battle, walking away from some sort of strife, okay? And now that the Six of Wands has come out here, it's kind of, it's it's bringing that back up. It's, it's speaking to that energy again. And I do feel like someone, either you or someone else, you could be walking away from some sort of turmoil, inner battle, um, or an external battle. But it's, it's not, it, it's almost as if, yes, you're victorious here, you're, you're, successful here but there's still a little bit of pain there's still a little bit of darkness there's still a little bit of of i almost feel like this energy of kind of still needing to look over your shoulder a little bit because it's almost as if it's not quite over yet or maybe there's a feeling that it it's never going to be over um and you know okay so this really could be a paradigm shift you you shifting out of the old paradigm and shifting into the new in the overall energy you have the high priestess here where we're like we're looking behind her behind the veil um seeing past or seeing through the illusion that's what i'm hearing and the other side of it is the eight of swords so interestingly enough i do feel like you have broken free from this in some way you've broken free from some sort of chain some sort of binding you've broken you've broken out of almost i want to say yeah you've broken out of the matrix a little bit and yet there's this energy with the six of wands here this feeling that the war is not over so to speak if if you want to look at it that way um i personally don't really see it as a war anymore i see it more as just you know a difference of opinion really i mean it's like a, a, a what you a difference of what you want to choose to believe or feed into right but then with this it's almost as if you still it's a topic of contention because you still have people around you that are heavily rooted within the old paradigm within maybe patriarchal conformist society indoctrination all that kind of stuff um toxicity codependency whatnot whatever fear strife um and yeah there's this sense of like always kind of having to look over your shoulder because you never really know who might come out of the woodwork to try and attack you or tear you down or something like that um while while this feels very real i almost want to tell you guys to not give that too much attention or give that too much thought because the more you focus on that the more you anticipate that the more you prepare yourself for that the more you're feeding into it the the the, the more it 
could really show up in your life if you are choosing to see past the veil and choosing and making this choice to move to shift into this fifth dimensional paradigm then focus on that solely don't give your effort or energy or anything any i heard entitlement to the old paradigm because if that's not what you want then basic then stop focusing on it stop worrying about it stop feeling like you you know it's always going to rear its ugly head at some point you you've broken free okay you've made it out of the matrix you understand what it is you need to know now here especially with this high priestess energy you understand what you need to know at this point in order to um successfully make this shift success and live a successful life outside of <laughs> i'm hearing patriarchal societal control know what i mean so okay <laughs> all right um there also could be a little bit of an and look there's that page of swords okay it, there also could be an energy of um uh a battle of the sexes because what i was feeling what i was picking up on in the beginning like when i first started channeling for the collective today um, I was seeing orange and then I saw yellow and then I saw green. So there's almost like a battle of the sexes type energy. There's also could be a rebalancing of the energies within you. You could have, you could have been someone that was really, really resistant to understanding the fact that everybody has both masculine and feminine energy within. And with the five of swords that came out, before in the previous version of the video that i started i was feeling an energy of someone just finally putting down the sword stop fighting stop arguing stop resisting even and walking away from that and starting to understand that you do have both of those energies within okay page of swords here uh whatever i don't, I don't want to talk about that page of swords it's really not it's not a big deal i mean someone it, uh, communication truth honesty integrity in um 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 not holding back on the truth you know being very blunt about something and i feel like you ooh ooh well looky here looky here the hierophant just popped out and it's the back of him okay so this is where you know and you see i'm, I'm hearing indoctrination all right but i think you're getting past this indoctrination and you see there's this goddess figure here to me that kind of states and that that looks that it, it, yes 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 okay this is someone that is starting to realize or is starting to access the wisdom of feminine energy getting past what the patriarchy has to say about everything the patriarchal control masculine dominance and but not like not throwing that completely away but at, but but starting to balance the masculine with the feminine you have the world here <laughs> and then you have the five of wands all right so yeah this could be pretty explosive for you and you could if, in you coming into this realization or starting to look past look Look past what the Hierophant represents in patriarchal society and whatnot, masculine dominance and control. In looking past that, some of you may have some hard truths that you want to say, that you want to speak to people with that page of swords that came out. But understand that this is, in fact, a topic of contention for a lot of people. If you were in that energy, if you're breaking free from that, th it, like, think about all the other people around you that are still in that energy. It's a topic of contention for a reason, right? Because certain patriarchal individuals don't want to lose control. Okay. But now that you've received some sort of wisdom or you've, you, you've integrated some sort of higher understanding, you might kind of be on a tirade or you might go want to go on a tirade tirade with that page of swords energy and any sort of conversation that you may have in terms of this may be lacking intact you may be so frustrated or so fed up with things that you're just gonna fire off at the mouth here and things may come across wrong or you may be misunderstood or your tone may be taken uh, in a different way than it was intended someone may start may get really offended and then it could really be a fight eruption 
I mean, this is more than just with this five of wands here. This is more than just a difference of opinion. This is like an all out ego brawl. You guys look at that volcano. Okay, but this could be your energy too. You could be so fired up about what this indoctrination represented for you and how it made you feel, how it how it affected your life, how it twisted and contorted things in your life that, you know, you might want to just rip some people to shreds here. I mean, it's not the Five of Swords, which is a good thing. It's the Five of Wands. It's better than the Five of Swords. It's not as potentially danger dangerous or aggressive or... Um, violent okay but i mean someone i mean this i wouldn't especially with this side of the five of wands i wouldn't put past i wouldn't put getting like punching someone in the face past this energy you know what i mean just be careful just be careful guys and if you really if you're really that oh look see yep judgment the wake up the wake up somebody is waking up someone is finally awake or someone is getting there if you got look if you're feeling really volatile if you're if your emotions are really high right now because of the awareness that you're coming to i would suggest that you ooh, 11 11 i would suggest that you not engage with other people that you do your best to maybe isolate yourself from people that might um engage in this ego battle with you or people that you might be up against okay but here it is the wake-up call they're saying you're finally awake now this is a good thing part of yes and okay you do have you have the ace of cups here and you have the five of cups here all right um okay wow i, I mean I, i'm this month I, we're still in the pre-shuffle energies you guys it just keeps coming out but um that is part of the awakening process here. There, because there is a moment where you really start to wake up and you really start to see things as they truly are or in a different way than you've always seen them before. And that can be very triggering. That can be something that will really like make you real angry because now it's like, hold on a second. You've been lying to me or you've been manipulating me this way for so long. Things could have been different, but you decided to, to, to do X, Y, and Z, blah, 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 whatnot. Like, yeah, guys, that is a natural part of the awakening process. And it's like you're finally in this energy of Ace of Cups. This is self-love here. This is unconditional love from the, from the universe. This is divine love here, okay? This is filling your own cup. This is the universe handing you the cup of love that you've always wanted, but were denied in, in many ways, okay? And then you have the Five of Cups on the other side, but this is a good thing. This side of the Five of Cups is a good thing because yes, those three cups that could represent so society and social norms and all that, that's all spilled, Okay, but you still have this two of cups here, which could be could represent the, the 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 union of masculine and feminine within you, and this rose, which is a sign of life. Okay, rebirth even after death. Okay, guys. All right, cool. So that was our pre-shuffle. <laughs> let's let's see what else. Let's see what else we get. And actually, you know what? It's so funny that I chose this mug today, the No Drama Llama, because I do feel like you guys are walking away from the drama, walking away from the strife, walking away from the burden, the pain, the struggle, all of that. Okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, December 16th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles and then we'll see what we've got here. One. Two. Three. Four. I really feel like 
because as I was I, as I started to do the prayer, um, I, st I saw yellow, and then now I'm seeing green. I really do feel like you guys are, for many of us, many of us are in the process of shifting into the heart chakra, and that's going to create some sort of eruption. Okay, um, it's five here. I do. I really do feel like, especially if you're feeling super aggressive right now. Um, it's because you're in the process of taking your power back. You are realigning yourself. You're you're uh, you're reintegrating. I heard reaccepting your own willpower, your own sense of will, your own desire to achieve and to live a certain way and to accomplish certain things outside, potentially outside of the norm. And you're not going to let anybody stop you. Um, this is, I really do feel like, especially if you're kind of upset with yourself for maybe being so aggressive or feeling so aggressive or having taken some sort of aggressive action or, you know, really like, um, really fired off at someone or whatnot this is a natural part of your awakening process okay so please do not do not do not get mad at yourself do not hurt yourself over that yes do not beat yourself up over that you're take you're literally taking your power back this is a moment where you're feeling a surge of your own willpower again and in order for you to really balance and integrate that in with your heart center, you have to be able to feel it. You're going to have to feel through some of the pent up stuff that you've been going through or, or that you've been holding on to for so long. And in many cases, some of you may not have even been aware of the fact that you are capable of doing so much. I'm hearing doing so much in such a short amount of time. That's very specific, but okay. And that realization, that awareness is just may even make you a little angrier, you know? It's all part of the process. Feel through your anger. Instead of unleashing your anger out on people, harness it. Put it towards what you're moving towards. Yes? Excellent. Let's see what we've got for today. What else? What else? That's enough? Okay. Wow. All right. Here we go. Here we go. You've got not much, just a little bit, but you've got the hermit here as your overall energy with, yes, the hanged man. But it's this side of the hanged man where the two in, the two individuals that were being indoctrinated by the hierophant earlier in the, in the deck, right, are now standing in front of the hanged man in this realization of, Oh my God, there is another way to see this. Oh goodness. Yep, that's exactly what we were talking about here. We've got the Knight of Cups with the King of Swords. Perfect. Perfect. So, ooh, come on now, come on now. So this is what I'm feeling with this now. Okay, all right. Um... What I'm feeling from this King of Swords energy is anger. And I do feel like you're in an energy right now of, uh, this is the masculine, this is mas I'm hearing this is masculine energy. This You could be someone that really identifies as um, masculine, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, like for example, I'm physically male, but I, I identify more with feminine energy. Um, but we do have, we all have masculine and feminine within. I'm energetically speaking as ter in terms of how I express myself naturally, I dominantly express more feminine qualities. So this is either someone, this is either a physical male. Well, yeah, don't say it that way. This is masculine energy, whether it's the masculine within you, even if you resonate more or you're more dominantly feminine in expression, this is the masculine within you rising, balancing and integrating, or this is you coming from a place of expressing yourself mostly in a, in a ma dominantly in a masculine way. But this King of Swords energy, he's pissed. He is not happy with what he sees going on around him. And it's because his heart is awakening, Knight of Cups, that he is able to pre even perceive things in this way. He's able to see things much clearer than he has ever seen them before. You see that lightning strike right there on the card? That is the spark of creation. That is divine wisdom 
coming through. I just heard union, divine union. Interesting. I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe this is, maybe you are the masculine here and you're starting to realize certain things about a relationship that you have with somebody that you may not have seen this way in the past. And maybe you're looking back on all the destruction that happened. And now you're kind of like, well, shit, what the fuck do I do now? But it doesn't matter. It's, it's okay. It's all part of the awakening process. But this, this King of Swords energy does not feel happy. He feels strongly misguided it's almost as if he's turned his back he doesn't want to talk he doesn't want to communicate because he knows if he does he's probably going to fire off at someone and it's not going to end well <laughs> okay um interesting there's this 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 knife down here that i i want to what is that my attention is being drawn to it, and I want to look at the book. I want to look into the book here and see what that knife on the ground... I don't even know what it's called. It's a certain type of knife. I want to see what that is. Give me just a second here, guys. Oh, wait. There we go. Swords. Okay. Um, inner self... Okay, I'm going to read this. The king faces a darkening storm that blows towards him. Clad in metal, he will draw his, his ferocious forking lightning, which is why he drove his sword point into the ground. He believes the energy will move through him rather than destroy him. Behind the king... It is a scythe. Okay, I thought so. Behind the king, a scythe stands in readiness, its sharp point also grounded in the earth. This is the darker side of the king's immense self-confidence. The risk that he will make... The risk that he will make a martyr of himself by believing only he can save the day. He doesn't know how to accept help or even admit that he needs it. Understanding this flaw will allow others to tactfully give him with uh, tact tactfully give help without weakening his steely pride. Okay, but what I'm getting from this, it's almost as if I'm getting a reaper energy here especially with that scythe it's like he's ready to to like to cut some shit up you know what i mean thankfully though everything all of this is tempered with a with a heart chakra awakening <clears throat> represented by the knight of cups here okay Whew. yeah and someone is starting to especially with this hermit energy here someone is really in an energy of starting to walk their own path go into solitude you really might want to go into hermit mode right now just so that you can deal with the anger and the aggression okay okay i want to get some clarity um i want to go a little dive a little deeper into this for you here and it's funny because I'm, I was drawn to the the Epic Tarot deck, which which this is, and it, it gives me a very, um, it feels very masculine in energy, especially in depiction, all the imagery on this deck. Um, and here we are, we're talking about masculine energy right now, and aggressive masculine energy at the moment. So I'm going to use this deck here to get us a little bit of clarity just to dive a little bit deeper into this for you guys here. Give you a deeper understanding of what's going on with this for you. One. Oh no, that's here. Okay, here we go. Little deeper. Okay. So we do have the Emperor here. So we're definitely talking about the masculine energy here with the King of Cups. Yes. And the Knight of Cups again. Okay. All right. All right. This is good, guys. This is very, very good. This is very, very good. There is definitely a sense of emotional Oh, with the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so, all right, guys, let, ooh, oh, look, and then here's the King of Wands that just poked out here, Seven of Wands, 
Ace of Swords. There's a High Priestess again. The Six of Pentacles. And the, oh, wow, guys. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're talking about the masculine. This is either your, this is either your inner masculine or maybe a masculine counterpart. Um, yeah. Um, I keep hearing topic of contention. Okay. Um, but the, the big thing, the big thing, the big theme with all of this that you're going through here is an energy of taking your power back. This is the, the emperor. Okay. The emperor is the master of his own domain. The emperor is, um, you know, someone that he's in control. Okay. And I really do feel like with this, here's the knight of cups. This is a, uh, I love this deck. This deck is depicted in such a cool way. So you have the, the pages of this deck are unicorns. The knights are griffins, which are these like bird mammal creatures. And then the queens are phoenixes and the kings are dragons. Um, and this, so then this here is the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups has come out again, symbolizing a heart chakra awakening, okay? A deepening of a sense of emotional fortitude. Um, you have, and, and so the theme here for this, you guys, is taking your power back, taking control, okay? And doing what is right for you. You have the Hermit with the King of Cups. You re I really suggest that you either go into Hermit mode you isolate yourself or you make sure that you just stay around people that don't trigger you as much or don't bring out this this sense of conformity okay that you're that you're dealing with that you're that you're moving away from um you might but you really just might want to take some time to just be on your own overall energy is the king of pentacles here so this is i'm hearing re-manifesting yourself it's an energy of the king of pentacles is very grounded very well manifested and with this hermit energy with the king of cups here it's you're realigning yourself with your heart chakra you're becoming more emotionally aware and emotionally secure emotionally grounded and um, emotionally mature and you're standing your ground you're you're redefining yourself with the king of pentacles you're re-solidifying yourself okay um and then you have the oh look at that the three of wands with the queen of swords okay so there's the representation of the feminine energy here all right so between these two decks we have the counterparts in the masculine and the feminine the king of swords and the queen of swords all right so there you have it there's your balance between masculine and feminine energy three of wands here is being on your path um uh, uh continuing some sort of momentum yes uh, uh, waiting for a return on an investment you could be realigning what you're investing into a shift in your path a shift in the path that you choose to follow mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is very good you guys it is very good i know it doesn't feel like it's all that good again i keep hearing topic of contention this is a topic of contention but hey you're better off dealing with this and realigning yourself to what's true and right for you the hermit you're better off realigning yourself and walking your own path than following some sort of con conformity and being unhappy. Choose happiness. And that's what I'm feeling with this Three of Wands. That's, that's how you may be um, readjusting your path by choosing a deeper sense of happiness. What's really going to make you happy? The Hermit with the Three of Wands. Okay? Very good, you guys. Very, very good. So now, I want to get final guidance from Spirit, and then we're going to get our Oracle guidance, and I'm definitely going to go with the Dragons for Oracle guidance today. Here we go. Spirit's take here. Spirit, Spirit's final message for you. 
in terms of this. Keep going. Take two. Aha! One more. Ooh, yes! Overall energy is the nine of cups. Satisfaction is guaranteed. And I know this, I know it may not necessarily look that way right now, but you're heading towards this. You're heading towards true happiness. You're heading towards feeling content. Okay? Ten of swords, ace of wands, two of pentacles, four of swords, I'm sorry, four of cups, three of cups. What I'm seeing, what Spirit is saying with this here, I want to say the party's over. Because you're looking at this, these three cups here, and you're like, wow, this is, not, this is not what I thought it was. This is not what I want. I'm not happy here. I'm not having fun here. This is toxic. This is controlling. This is just, this is not fun anymore. This is not who I am. This may not have been, a, this may be a situation in which you're saying to yourself, this is never who I was. I just felt like I had to do this to fit in. And here comes spirit with this ace of cups here saying, okay, I can hand you something better. You just got to listen. You just got to take it. You know what I mean? So here you go. Ace of wands, 10 of swords, two of pentacles. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. The two of pentacles goes with this also because... I'm feeling an energy of what spirit is saying here is you were in a place where you were just trying to keep the peace. You didn't want to rock the boat. You didn't want to cause a ruckus. And yet in you doing that, you created a situation in which the, the turmoil that would have been created if you were to just speak your truth or if you were to just move away from the collective or move away from the norm, that all that external you know, drama that would have happened was internalized. And you may have been in an energy of keeping it to yourself. But now you have the inspiration to put an end to it. Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords. Okay. Ten of Swords is the energy of, come on, shh, come on, you silly thing. Ten of Swords is an energy of um, the worst being behind you. The Ace of Wands is the inspiration to move in a different direction. And that Ace of Wands, yeah, that's fire. Okay, so you really could be very fired up about this right now. <laughs> okay. And I mean I'm not I'm not I'm not laughing at you. I'm just saying, I'm I'm just speaking to the energy here, and yeah, you could be really fired up about this. And if you're not fired up yet, I feel like for some of you, you might be soon. So just be aware of that, okay? Okay, let's get our oracle guidance here. One last shuffle. Wow, okay, look you go. Oh my goodness. Earth and Fire Dragon works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines. It's time for service. When you give, you receive. And that's a big part of sh making this shift into the fifth dimensional paradigm. Once you really start doing that, that's when you really start to want to be of service. That's the whole, that's the, that's basically, that's the currency. It's like the currency, I want to say of the fifth dimension, being of service. There's no real money or anything like that. It's, it's like, it's like we, we survive, we, sh we, we thrive off of a bartering system even, as you could say, all right? Which is cool, which is really cool. So, I mean, and that's just putting it, that's so to speak. I mean, uh, that's probably a really crude way of explaining it. It's, it's a very third dimensional, 
third dimensional consciousness way of explaining it, but you guys get it. Um, okay. Earth and fire dragon. Yes, this is a fourth dimensional dragon here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. This is a card of service for the fourth dimensional brown and orange earth and fire dragons are calling on us now to help them clear and light up the new ley lines of our beautiful planet. The original ley lines were called dragon lines for they were maintained by the dragons of old. Now a new fifth dimensional ley line system is being placed into the earth to carry golden Christ energy and prepare the planet for the new golden age. The dragons of earth and fire move through these lines, creating a path of light through which the higher love frequencies can flow. The guidance here is, humbly invoke these dragons and have a sense of the power of the flaming orange fire combined with the grounding brown earth. Reach out and hand, I'm sorry, reach out a hand to touch the dragons. Then visualize earth being crisscrossed with lines of golden light. Picture these dragons anchoring this golden Christ energy wherever they are sacred. There are sacred places. I'm sorry. Let's say that again. Picture these dragons anchoring this golden Christ energy wherever there are sacred places on the globe. Mentally place a golden flame at each of these sacred portals until you sense our planet lighting up. Whenever you are out walking or driving, Ask the, the magnificent earth and fire dragons to travel along the ley lines below you. Bring the Christ light down through you so that they can distribute it where it is most needed. When you give, you receive. The earth and fire dragons will illuminate the challenges on your route ahead, and as soon as you have acknowledged them, they will dissolve them. This will smooth your path. It will also allow you to step lightly into your role as a master as a master as the new golden age approaches beautiful <sighs> all right guys so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope that was helpful for you i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning yeah take care Mwah. bye